going to be a busy weekend for NASA as them alongside with European, uh, at least European partners and also NOAA, is actually going to be launching one of two satellites and the mission is to study the Earth's sea level rise. As our planet continues to heat up, we continue to see an increase in natural disasters worldwide, including record-breaking cyclones, wildfires, droughts, and heartbreaking floods. Sea level rise is one of the most visible indicators of climate change across the globe. As um, the planet is warming, we're seeing glaciers melting, which is adding to the volume of our sea levels. And also 90% of the heat that is caused by greenhouse gases trapped in the atmosphere gets absorbed by that by the oceans and that heat causes the seas to rise it also causes things like coastal line erosion nasa's mission to study our oceans will include two satellites so sentinel 6 michael freilich is all about water and we are specifically measuring the heights of our oceans with very precise detection and continuing a record that NASA started nearly 30 years ago in the early 90s to measure our rising seas. The satellites will also measure two large components that contribute to weather forecasting, such as predicting the strength of hurricanes. We also have a new science instrument on board that uses radio occultation to measure temperature and humidity in the atmosphere. And those are key elements to weather forecasting as well as improving our climate models. And although two satellites are involved, they will not be launching together. In Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich, the first satellite will launch tomorrow out of Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. And the second satellite will actually launch in 2025 so that we're able to get a decades long of uh, continuous measurements.